let's go for one of Ark's popular creatures, and let's face it, one of the most famous dinos in the world. It is the Triceratops, or the Trike, if you will. So these guys are found around Ark's islands rather commonly as well. I'm pretty sure when you first start off on Ark, you're going to come across a Trike. But did you know these guys are absolute badasses, and they will help you through the entire game, and you can get them very early on as well. With a trike's attack, it has the pushback effect, and that can be effective against any creature, including Rexes, guys. This can protect you from Rexes from the get-go, and especially them pesty raptors. Sit back, guys, and let's go tame a trike. So guys let's go ahead and get our trike saddle and this can be unlocked at level 16 that's right quite early on in the game and you're only going to need 80 fiber 140 hide 25 wood now the hide can be a bit hard to get or not hard more time consuming but you can get that pretty easily next for the weapons we're going to take well, i'm going to take the normal ramsical bow okay because I'd use a normal bow because when you're taming a trike, you won't have any like long neck rifles or anything like that. So I'm going to take the bow and I'm going to take a machete or sorry, a sword. Looks like a machete to me. Um, I'm going to take the sword just for protection. Now, guys, when it comes to narcotics, I'm going to take some narco berries because you don't really need it. Obviously, unless you're taming like a really high level one. You don't really need narcotics for it. Narco berries, a stack of 100 narco berries should do the trick. And taming food as well, guys. I'm just going to take 200 medjo berries, okay? Uh, you can use simple kibble if you like, but if you're going for a trike, you're going to go for it very early on in the game. So when you start getting all this kibble accumulated, you're going to save it for a creature that is a bit harder to tame than just your trike. So I'm going to take medjo berries today. So guys, for the trike, we don't need any dino companion. I am just going to be taking my parasaur because I don't remember the last time I actually saw this guy. And I'm going to let him out a bit. He's probably one of my first, maybe my second dino I ever tamed on this. So I want him to get a bit of run time. So the location for the trike is practically everywhere. The only places they don't spawn is around the mountain areas and the snow biome, of course. Now, the best place to tame a trike has got to be Herbivore Island. Because Herbivore Island is full of herbivores and no carnivores, so there's no threat over there. So you're openly available to tame any dino you want, really. So guys, I've arrived literally down the road from my base. I wonder if I can see my base from here, actually. No, no chance. <laughs> And uh, yeah, there's a trike here, look. I like it. It's a good looking trike. I'm just here on the map. I didn't make it to Herbivore Island because obviously I had my parasaur here, which I'm going to just quickly set you to, whoops, not that, uh, set you to um, neutral, to passive. I don't want you attacking anything or doing anything. Just, just stay there. And the best way to obviously get a trike is to hit it and climb a rock. That's the way I say anyway. It's so level 12, I like it. Okay, that looks a bit like... Nah, it'll be able to get me up there, won't it? So, whoops. Uh, I'm going to ping it quick. Right, there we go. It's on It's on to me. I can easily outrun this guy. There we go. I'm up. Oh, no. I fell off. Hello, Mr. Trike. Please don't kill me. Get up a rock here. There we go. The trike can't get up. And then just rain arrows down or darts whatever you want here we go she's going down she is down now the good thing about this is they can't hit you they're not very good at getting up onto rocks and stuff they do get stuck quite a lot so a little tip for you guys as well when you're hitting your trike don't go for the head they have an armored plated skull so this reduces the damage of the trank torpidity that you're going to inflict on this guy so the best thing to do is just shoot the body the tail wherever you can really just not the head now i bought my parasol with me so i can obviously detect any threats 
Oh, it's only a dillo. It's okay. Because normally around here, there is uh, some titana boas and stuff. But I think we're safe. I think we're a bit bit too far out for the uh, titana boas anyway. So we're all right. We're all right. But if they ever were to come close, I got my dude to do the roar. Do the roar. There's a dillo here. I'm just going to go slice and dice this guy. Yo, check out my new machete. So now, guys, I'd say you just stand around and wait and kill anything that comes near us. But to be fair, we're quite all right because he's stuck between two rocks. He's slowly taming up. Parasaur's there. In fact, what I could do, I think I believe there's a a uh, explorer note around here. I'm just gonna go for a quick wander. There it is! Ooh, hello. Have I got this? I have got that. So just had me a little adventure killing stuff, but now there's a trude on there. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go kill a Trudon. Screw this. Now I don't recommend this guys, because Trudon's a badass. Get it! What ah! Don't mess with me. You better protect me if I don't if I go down. Okay. Oh, there we go. Where the f*** are you going? It's just like, I'm out of here. You're down. I'm done for. I'm up. Let's go protect the uh, try. Let's go make sure he's not getting up, first of all. Jump up here. Here we go. This is my, this is my start. All right, guys. The trike is up and back in business. Yo, yo, Mrs. Trike. Go and pop that on you. You can you can eat them berries if you want. All right, yeah. I love a good trike. So, guys, I'm super excited to have a trike finally. And the good thing about these guys is, other than, like, your Therizinosauruses and Stegos and things, these guys are absolute boss at collecting berries and seeds and stuff. Look at that. One hit, I actually dropped the Medjo Berries that I left in him when he was taming. I dropped them, so everything you see now is from one little hit to the grass. These guys are great when it comes to gathering like berries and stuff. But also, when it comes to gathering thatch, there we go, look at that. 158, and we've got 19 wood as well. So they're great for collecting thatch and wood as well as your berries and your seeds. These guys are awesome, especially at the beginning of the game, guys. These are the ultimate beginner tame. Now, guys, just for those that are wondering, it, it doesn't harvest meat for you guys or fish or anything like that. Now, guys, you've probably noticed these guys are really slow, to be fair. This is the sprint. They're not fast dinos, don't get me wrong. Whoa, that's a nice looking horsey. Hi. I might have to tame one of them. Then I'll have a unicorn, white, and a black. Oh, that'll be cool. But anyway, yeah, you can see that the uh, trike is very slow. And their stamina is rather awful, to be fair. What level am I now? Level 25 and 214 stamina. And it drains so quick. And it doesn't really get you that far. Okay, guys. So a lot of you, when you first start the game, you'll have a lot of trouble when it comes to raptors. So what I'm going to do... My level 29, my level 29 trike with a thousand health. I'm going to take on three raptors, make sure there's not one behind me. And the reason why they're able to do this is not because they've got a great attack, to be fair. They're quite a bit poor, to be fair. The low level ones, anyway, are a bit poor. But when they hit, they have this knockback effect. Now, you can keep doing this look, and the raptors can't even get near you. So this, there we go, we've got one down already. Two down. And you can see the third one's going to go down. You can see, look, how easy that was to take three raptors out. My level 20... Hey. Get out of it. <laughs> my level 29 um, trike. I forgot what it's called. Then, thanks to that guy. Uh, my level 29 trike took out a level 24, 32, and a 4. 
in raptors. So at the beginning of the game, a trike will absolutely demolish these raptors. It doesn't matter whether it's a level one, two, three, it will still demolish raptors because of that pushback effect. But the damage they do deal is reasonable. It's okay, it's not the best, but it does work well with the knockback effect. And it's enough for you beginners to survive your first few nights without having raptors killing you all the time. Now guys, as well as its primary attack, your secondary attack is a charge attack. So you can see here there's a gauge in the corner and once that fills up, that's more like a speed gauge, okay? That's not what's gonna deplete. So once that's full, you're at maximum speed. And if we just let go, it'll just literally run forward and you can see my stamina is going down. So the higher the stamina, the better, obviously the longer you're gonna be able to run for, and that's me done. <laughs> I am knackered now. So that was just showing you sort of the speed of it. It does count as like, you can do that to move around the, the map if you want. It just like say it drains your stamina, but if you boost up your stamina, what's my stamina now? 264. Okay, so if I boosted that stamina to like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, you'd literally be able to run around the map so fast just using that. So as well as that, guys, you can use it to collect your thatch and your wood without even stopping. So if we just run straight ahead, we're not even pressing anything. I've got nothing on the keyboard or the mouse. And look, I'm just plowing through. And look how much wood and thatch we just got just from charging. Wow, these guys are great when it comes to doing stuff like that. Gathering, harvesting, thatching wood. Now, as well as that charge attack being able to collect us a lot of wood and thatch and getting us around the map quicker, it also, if you aim it at dinos, we're going to go for that nice tech parasaur there. If we aim it at a tech parasaur or anything sort of medium to high, we'll be able to like hit them with a stun attack and it'll confuse them. Let's try and, uh, try and avoid the tree. Ready and boom, we've hit it, knocked it down and it's got yellow above its head and this is basically a confusion state. After a few seconds, I think it's like three or four seconds, they'll go and return back to normal. But basically, it just stops Dino from like moving at top speed. I think it like it's like half of their walking speed. So we've got a Pteranodon here. Let's try and hit that. Bang. So look, even the Pteranodon trying to fly away. Bang. We can still get it. Now with like Dillos and Dodos and things like that, this, this kind of doesn't doesn't go well so if we run dead on at this dillo here he's gonna go in the water and he knows how he stops if we hit him dead on it'll just sort of get knocked out the way as you can see just knocks him flying a, a good distance but it doesn't do the uh, the confusion effect now I, i'm not too sure sizes for these because like you can't do it for dillos but you can do it for trudon so let's try it. we've got a trudon there and I should be able to, you don't even need to fill the meter out all the way, guys. This just is how I, I, I always seem to do it, get more attack. Look, so the Trudon, we can hit with it, but things like the Dillo and stuff, you can't hit, it just sort of knocks them out of the way. Uh, unfortunately, I would like to say, guys, I'm not sure exactly what, uh, what oh, he's coming for me. Uh, just, uh, kicked its ass, kicked its butt. There we go, get out of it. Yeah, I'm not too sure on like what the size is of what, you know, it can do it to and what it can't do it to. I just find all the little creatures like compass and stuff, it doesn't seem to work. So guys, a good thing about the drags as well with this charge attack is I'm just sprinting to get a bit of my stamina down right now. So as you can see, we're about halfway now. If I stop to, you know, gain charge, you can see my stamina will still recover while I'm building up my charge and then I can just let go and away we go again. Oh, we've got a, we've got a, hey, there we go. We've got a Fiomia right into us, bang. These guys can't obviously harvest me <laughs> as well. I'll just throw that in while I can. What the? Get away, little campy. Now guys, what you'll see is around that trike is a red aura. Now this is a rival boost that when the trikes are near the presence of large carnivores, such as 
Rexes, uh, Spinos, Uteranuses. I'll leave a list on the screen anyway. They get this damage and health buff. Now, this doesn't work on a local host, so that's obviously why it's not affecting my tame, unfortunately. I'm not getting the buff because it doesn't work on local, unfortunately. But if you're online or something like that, it'll work great. Pow, get out of there. Why, why would you not want to? Why would you not want to try? I mean, these guys are great. I mean, I've just literally killed a Rex, three Allosauruses, Spino, the whole wigs. So that has been it for me, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you want to see more art content, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next episode.